here we are at Copen's Caravans in Louth. Uh, just walking up to the main entrance here. And as you walk in, you'll see they've got uh, loads of awnings up from Dometic and Isabella. We've got used caravans either side. And now we're going to take a look in the accessory shop, which has got that much stuff in it. It's unbelievable. Now we'll take a look at some of the coachman caravans we've got on display. 46,745 for the uh, Laser 875. Nice lovely grey sides. As we walk in, see it's got a nice big lounge, front sunroof window, which lets lots of light in. Got your old shaped kitchen. Tall fridge freezer, microwave above the cooker with extractor fan, side island bed, two large wardrobes, almost identical to our Coachman 675 that we had, obviously eight foot wide and slightly uh, different interior. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Nice, lovely shower. Yeah, very nice. Now we're going to take a look at the Coachman 665. Again, similar, gra similar graphics to the side. As we walk in again, again the L-shaped kitchen, lounge and uh, full sunroof. Tall fridge freezer, the cupboard above. And, and now we're going to the bathroom area and shower area. Can't believe how big this space is, and this shower is massive. Really, really nice. Nice shower cubicle. Storage space with anger. Banging your clothes up. And into the bedroom, we got twin single beds. Place for a TV. Forty seven thousand seven hundred and thirty five for the laser eight five five now. As we walk in, L shaped lounge got an area here for your TV that's been told that's a 32 inch Avtex next to worktop and cupboard with microwave above aircon L-shaped kitchen tall dramatic fridge microwave shower Bit of wheel of arch intrusion there, obviously. Then the um, side island bed. Uh, 
Again, another place for a large TV. And shelving below. Then we go into the toilet. Again, large mirror. Basin. And your set for toilet. And of course, you use this door to shut off the toilet and bedroom area as well. So, again, another uh, extractor fan. Now we'll take a look at the laser 620, again with the silver grey sides. Yes, yes, yes. 42,015. As we walk in, the Metic fridge freezer, side dinette, plenty of workspace. And drawers, microwave above the workspace, plenty of storage for your, in your kitchen area, nice big lounge, place with uh, plug sockets and USBs. If we turn around and look down the van, gives you a massive illusion of space because you haven't got the bed. Again, another look at the uh, Dometic fridge freezer, got a cupboard down here with mirror and we walk into the bathroom area. Large mirror and sink, wardrobe here, oh don't seem to be opening, no definitely ain't going to be opening. As you can see I've tried a few times but it didn't open, you've got drawers at the bottom, your Fetford toilet radiator and a large shower. Again, here you've also got more storage area for hanging your clothes with the hanging rail, shelves for your other stuff like your clothing, and the cupboard below is where you store your kitchen table. Shut those to keep them nice and tidy. Yeah, very nice. 37350 now for a five VIP 540 single axle. Again, L shaped lounge. L shaped kitchen with extra workspace on the other side. Mike, a lot weather microwave is in this one, it's nice and low. French bed, dressing table with stool. Hazel really like this one. Even though we're both not keen on the French bed as we had one in our last uh, but one caravan. Your elder eating in the wardrobe with the hanging space for your hanging clothes. Two nice drawers at the bottom. Not soft clothes. And into the washroom area. Got your your sink, your fet for toilet and uh, a smaller shower. Cabinet and uh, shelving for all your accessories. Nice large mirror with a light above it. Heated tower rail and your pedestal sink. did notice in this one there's a different type of sunroof in this one it's actually got a ratchet system you actually twist the handle and push it up and i don't think i've, I've seen that not seen that in any of the any other, other caravan uh, other than this one by looking around it's such a good design you can literally put it in any position you want to yeah i like the idea of this so much better than the ones that you're just clicking in three different positions. Yeah, I like that idea. 
Then you've got the VIP 460. This is where our tour and adventure started off with back in 2018. We had a um, 2011 uh, 460. Very similar layout. Yeah, exactly the same. Just obviously a bit more modern now than it was then. Lots of shelving. So it's got the skylight window now, which I didn't have. I say how reminiscent this is. It's our, like I say, it was our first van. Nice kitchen area. But I think this bathroom was about half the size again as it was before. Really big shower. Large mirror. Bedford toilet and wardrobe space in here. Yeah, and you've got your old eating tank there as well. Another little area, wardrobe, where you've got your table and uh, hanging rails for your clothes. Yeah, very nice. Let me look at the 575 VIP. Smaller lounge. Again, plenty of workspace. Side uh, island bed. So wardrobe to either side and nice shower and bathroom area. Quick look at the vans I've got here at Copeland's. This is the Swift Base Camp 26495 for the people that want a smaller van. Seems a bit weird coming in from the back, but yeah. Loads of uh, storage and uh, spaces. Small lounge, workspace. Plenty of cupboards. Three burner hob kitchen and sink. We'll take a look around. Fridge. Your wardrobe with your hanging space and where you keep your table and your consumer units in there. Now look in the bathroom. Shower room here. Wet room. Got your toilet sink and then the shower then we look at the swift finesse as we walk in kitchen and worktop small lounge Island bed, similar layout to the Coachman 575. Got your cabinet on the side with your mirror. So I've got a look in the bathroom. Fet for toilet. Storage space at the top there. And a uh, shower. Nice sink. Got your wardrobe space both sides of the bed. Now we're going to look at another Swift finesse. Got your, your kitchen and your four burner hob. Nice large lounge. Cupboard we uh, space it there. Fridge below the sink. Wash room, shower. With my well, beam me up Scottish shower. And then you can access, there you've got your sink there, then you can access your bedroom 
island bed from both sides. The only thing I find with this type of layout is if you're quite tall, that ball can, is, is, uh, could, could be in the way. Space for your TV. And as we go out back out into the washroom area, you can see you've got your Thetford toilet, which you walk by and go out into the other side of the bedroom. Really creaky uh, door. Now we're looking at another finesse 880, 28,995. Again, kitchen in front of you, another small lounge. Looking round here. I did notice that there's, where all the lights are, you can see all these exposed wires, and I noticed that on nearly every model. Microwave, storage area, large wardrobe again, all the wiring exposed, cabinet, Thetford toilet, sink and shower that actually goes around the corner slightly. Not quite as big as the coachman showers, but uh, at the end of the day, it's still a shower. Now we come and look at the coachman motorhomes. £106,800. This is for the coachman traffic master. Five sixty. As you walk in, nice steps as you get in. Nice layout, slight L-shaped kitchen. Two small uh, bench seats that make into a bed. On the Mercedes chassis, so I've got to like that. That looks really nice. Leather seats. Large fridge freezer with microwave above it. French bed with steps up for the one that's nearest to the uh, window. As you can see there, climb in. Fet for toilet. Again, large shower with uh, space for all your products. Love this sink. And then we got the wardrobe area for you hanging your clothes. Wi-Fi unit in there as well. Smaller cupboard with shelving. There's your boiler. Drop down bed at the front there. Lots of space for your, all your tins and, and uh, food and that. Got your large cutlery drawer and your gas uh, appliance uh, things there. Nice soft closed wind, uh, drawers as well. And this one, I like the idea of that, having the storage bin in the cupboard. Seat box for your travelling seats. Now we've got the Travel Master 545 at £123,800. Another slightly different layout. Got your front bench seats again on the Mercedes chassis. With a drop down electric bed. I did try to see if it uh, would drop down so I could get some videos of it, but uh, there was no power. Yeah, 
microwave and large fridge freezer and go into a shower area and this one's got the double bed at the top steps each side to walk in aircon into your toilet area some nice mirrors plenty of storage in there as well fit for toilet large shower I did notice when I closed this door that it didn't catch correctly. But yeah, very nice. Then we look at the Bailey Adamo on the Ford chassis. As we walk in the door, got your kitchen, a small lounge, nice sunroof window at the front, let light in. As you walk in to the back, you've got your shower on the left hand side, large double bed with steps and a walk round either side, storage underneath the bed at the front, place for a TV, and then we've got the shower, then we go into the toilet area, mirror. Basin, storage area, and your Thetford toilet. Again, another look at the shower. Nice van, but not the same quality as the Coachman. You can actually see the difference. And here's the Ford cab. The bonus was this fish and chip van as well. All courtesy of Copen Caravans, free of charge. Lovely. Well, that's our first rally over then. We're just on our way back home. So I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So we had uh, some good entertainment on the evening times. A um, couple of singers and a bit of a disco. Good sing along. Yeah, really good. Really sing good. Along. The food from that was, yeah. that was uh, supplied by uh, Copeland Caravans as well was spot on. Uh, yeah, free, free alcoholic drinks as well, so that's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even rum. Yeah. yeah, that rum was gorgeous. That was gorgeous, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, the red, yeah. red. Grape, yeah, there was red grape, pineapple, pineapple. and uh, mixed fruit. Strawberry? No, mixed fruit. No, was it, was it mixed fruit? Yeah. Anyway, anyway it doesn't matter, it was really nice. Hazel and tried it, was... didn't like it, but hey, <laughs> next one for me that was, that's yeah. another bonus. Please like, subscribe and share. Give us a thumbs and up. Give us a thumbs up. And until uh, the next one. Until the next one. Say bye, bye for, now. for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.